The pro-life movement is dedicated to restoring legal protection to the life of every unborn child from the moment of conception. That's why I'm encouraging all my pro-life friends to support H.R. 36, the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, also known as the 20-Week Abortion Ban. This bill is coming up for a vote this week, and I'd like to point to five reasons you should urge your congressman to vote yes. First, if enacted, this bill would save the lives of over 18,000 unborn children every single year, each one so fully developed that they respond to their mother's voice and even what she eats for breakfast, children who feel excruciating pain when the abortionist rips them limb from limb. Now, President Obama has vowed to veto this bill. That means protecting unborn children from late-term abortion will require political change in Washington, which points to the second reason to support the pain-capable bill. When the U.S. House of Representatives takes up this vote, congressmen will have to go on record supporting or opposing late-term abortion, which is strongly opposed by most Americans. When voters go to the polls next year, they'll know where the candidates stand on this barbaric practice. I can think of no better response to the war on women rhetoric that Planned Parenthood and the abortion lobby have employed in recent elections. Let them defend waging war on children in the womb so fully developed they can feel pain. Third, the pain-capable bill highlights the gruesome reality of late-term abortion. Few Americans realize that, thanks to the Supreme Court's 1973 abortion rulings, Roe v. Wade and Doe v. Bolton, abortion was made legal through all nine months of pregnancy. Nor do they know how truly horrific late-term abortion really is, or how many children suffer the fate of being killed so late in pregnancy. Again, over 18,000 every year. Fourth, shining a light on late-term abortion exposes the inhumanity of the entire abortion industry and further stigmatizes abortion. This in turn demoralizes the abortion industry and puts them on the defensive, both in the court of public opinion and in our nation's laws. Now, some have criticized the pain-capable bill because it includes an exception for children conceived in rape. I wish that language weren't there. Who would decide to wait five months before aborting a child conceived in rape? But the political reality is that without that exception, which is very narrowly drawn, this bill would have no chance of passing the House. The abortion industry has successfully exploited the emotionally charged issue of rape for decades, and we will continue to fight until every child is valued, regardless of how that child was conceived, or indeed, whether that conception was 20 weeks ago or 20 days ago. Please call your congressman today and tell them to vote yes on H.R. 36, the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act, the next step in our ongoing effort to protect every unborn child from abortion.